Hiya. How are you? Is it taking you long? No. No traffic. The Birth Art Cafe is a meeting of groups of pregnant women and new mums at my home on a regular basis. I invite them to talk about what's been going on for them in the week, how their pregnancy has been going, or if they've got a baby, what um, issues have come up for them as a mother, feeding issues, sleeping, those kind of things. So nobody's helped themselves to food and drink. Do you want to help yourself to something? <laughs> uh, my name's Fran. Um, and um, well, I found out um, just a couple of weeks ago that I was pregnant. So I'm now it's just seven weeks. So. I know I shouldn't really be telling anybody, but I feel in safe, um, in the safe hands. In our lives, there's a big emphasis to be logical and level-headed. And this is the way we are encouraged to live our lives. But when it comes to something like pregnancy and motherhood, really it's a different way of thinking and being. Notice how your breath is. So after we finish chatting, I take them into a short guided relaxation. Your mother, your grandmother, your great grandmother. And bringing your attention back to your breath. So women bring their experiences and according to what comes, then I will choose or offer a theme for that day. Image of family you got and um, and then it's time for the art. And this is a point which can be quite scary for some women who perhaps haven't done art since they were at school and they feel that they don't know how to do it, they've never done it before. Maybe that's the... So while they're painting and sculpting, I go off and make some tea and bring the refreshments. <laughs> And sometimes they paint and sculpt in silence and sometimes there's lots of chatting about what they're painting, what's coming up for them, how they're feeling. Do you want some water for the cup? Oh, no, thank you. And it's a very rich environment. When I came, I loved it because it was so different to anything I'd been to before. Um, and it offered a support which the other organisations um, in the mainstream just don't, don't do. You know, I know, see her face and yeah. I can feel, you know, sort of the love that she gave me. It, yeah, it just look goes into on. her eyes. And yeah, it's very it's emotional. It is <laughs> you never forget. Emotional. Yeah. So my intention is to welcome all aspects of birth and motherhood which will include caesarean birth, home birth, water birth, breastfeeding, bottle feeding, um, because I want to in create a safe space where everything can be discussed. Unfortunately, Stu's work was picking up ladies, and so I could just say... It really enabled us to connect with our, our new little one before she was born, and then enabled us to let go of any worries about the birth that might have... Um, might have been there in terms of wanting a specific birth to take place in a, in a certain way. We were just really open to however it was going to go and it was more important that actually we were becoming parents, becoming a mother, becoming a father and what that meant. It's um, a spiritual support of becoming a mother which has been completely invaluable to me and without it I would have been lost or have been very confused about how to manage my whole journey. Chakini ba, nita uchu.